Okay, today we're going to talk a little bit about application uh, on your mortar. Um, we're going to take some water in your cup, which is about a half a cup of water. We're going to pour it in. It's just like you're working with your solution. It's about the same consistency as what your solution would be. So this is just a good way for you to practice on a wall if you're, uh, you know, a little shy about getting it messy and things like that. This is a good way to practice. So we're going to start off with uh, working with your mortar joint. So this is the same cup you brush you have in, in your uh, in your kit. Nice little cheapy brush. You can buy those, you know, through us or Jordan Williams or whatever. They're not very cheap at all. You don't need very expensive brushes. Uh, this works out really well. The cups we get from the dollar store. These are nice little plastic cups that we use and seem to work really well for us. So uh, what you'll do, even though you're practicing with water, you want to practice your stirring. You know, you don't have to do anything special, no fancy. Just make sure because when you're working with solution, you don't want your pigment suspended in the bottom. You want to make sure you get that good and stirred up. You want to drain your brush. Always drain it into you. Drain it away from you. You're going to spray the wall. If you drain it into you, if you spray it, you're going to spray yourself. So once you once you get it drained, you want to train the brush because sometimes some bristles will get uh, you know all whacked out on the sides and things like that. You'll want to kind of train your brush with from the top of the cup. And then you're ready to start. You, if you're right-handed, you always want to start and you want to pull the brush. You want to put a little bit of arc to it or a little, little slant to it. And you want to go real slow across. And you go about three or four brick wide. And then you're ready to stop. And you can do a couple joints like that. Same way. And then you can come back and do the head joints. Your, your uh, horizontal bed joints, you could probably go to three to four brick wide and then uh, come back and do your, do your head joints. So uh, like I said, you want to put a nice little slant on your brush so you can get, uh, get inside the grooves really easy and it doesn't get on the brick. Um, some instances, the uh, brick are so close together, you might have to cut down your bristles on your brush to make it a little bit skinnier. Um, so you can get those in there. Feel free, what we do is we normally use a knife or a pair of scissors and just kind of pull back on the bristles a little bit. You can cut down and make it about half the width of what it is, or you can use a smaller brush uh, either way. Um, so again, if you're right-handed, you want to start at the left edge, and you want to pull across until you're ready to stop. And then come down, like I said, and do your head joints. If you're left-handed, you want to start at the right edge. And then you'll want to pull across. Um, never go this way. But you always want to pull it. It's the most accurate way to, to do it. And like I said, when I'm holding my brush, I'll hold it like I do a pencil. You don't want to hold it up here next to the, to the base at all. You want to... You know, you want to hold it back just like you do a pencil because holding it up here will just get your hands all messy and you don't really need to, to deal with all that. So again, I'll do a big section here. You know, to keep the slant on the, on the brush, uh, that keeps everything from running down and, and getting away from you and it keeps it nice and neat. Uh, instead of putting that, to, it, and it keeps off the brick as well. So you want to go all the way across, you can do a couple. Again, do your head joints, and then you're ready to re-stir. You want to go nice and slow so you can get good coverage on your mortar. No need to hurry. Um, if you do happen to see some spots, once you get done and do your head joints, you can go back in and kind of do a little bit of touch-up just by dabbing and things like that. Um, you get done with one section and you're ready to move over. You know, same sort of deal. You want to be careful where you butt up against your other brick, uh, where, where you left off. Sometimes if you just pull right away, it'll leave a line right there. You'll want to take your finger and kind of feather that in a little bit so you don't have a, a line every, every time you start and stop where you join up with. So, again, you know, it's a nice, slow, easy stroke. And you can do, if you see you're getting good coverage, you could probably go upwards of three to four rows. 
And again, we're just working with water, so you're not going to see much, any, any color change at all. And, uh, like I say, sometimes your brush will get kind of wide. You'll, go, you'll want to, you know, get that back in there and, and drain it again, just like so. And then you're pretty much back to normal. So, again, it's a nice smooth application. If you do happen to get some on the brick, you can take a, a washcloth and just dab it uh, as soon as you get it on there, and sometimes that'll take care of it. Um, if you're doing the mortar and the brick, you'll probably want to do the mortar first. Um, just so if you do have to get it on the brick, once you stain the brick with the brick color, that'll take care of the spot a lot of times that you got it on the mortar with. That's pretty much how it's done.